join us. Everyone's invited, of course. Hey, Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. We're taking a look at the brand new Darth Maul from this sort of, I don't know what they're calling it, it's like Comic Greats or something like that, literacy series, literature series. Uh, looking at Darth Maul, Sith Apprentice, this is the one that's sort of really the only one that I've uh, decided at this point to pick up. But uh, the box art's looking fantastic. Um, and Darth Maul, Sith Apprentice there on the spine with what looks to be uh, Gregory Titus artwork. I could be could be mistaken, but uh, it looks like they've gone back for that sort of grayscale look that they did for the Black Series before. We've got the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm on the back. It's nice. And then we have a little write up here and the figure itself in the packaging. So I'm really, really excited to open this one up and take a look at the figure. So uh, let's do exactly that. All right, guys, here he is. The man, the myth, the legend, the Sith apprentice, Darth Maul. This figure is absolutely awesome. I'm, I'm really, really impressed with how this has turned out. Three, for the most part, I believe it's a simple repaint of probably more than likely some form of um, shirtless Marvel Legends superhero. Um, although I'm not too sure. I'm not 100% sure on that. So for the most part, this is new to Star Wars at least. So we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. And uh, yeah, at least the top half is new to Star Wars. New head sculpt, which looks absolutely awesome. Do a nice little zoomy zoom there. Check out that sculpt. That is just absolutely fantastic. Trying to dim the light down a little bit. There we go. Take a look at that. Absolutely amazing. That is just so damn good. This is uh, one thing the last mall has certainly uh, certainly missed out on is this sort of really angry face his teeth are disgusting <laughs> so yeah he does have the new neck joint as well which you know allows for a greater range of movement this one does have the some sort of butterfly joints there in the in the shoulders as well so yeah that sort of moving in and out rocking which is great uh, bottom half this is I believe it's more or less the same as the uh, the original mole um, the belt and this sort of tabards here look new. If not, it's a slight, slightly changed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is slightly new. Um, the legs are the same as the original mole, which is fine. That works. They work well. Obviously, they'll have to eventually update them when they do a cyber legs mall, which hopefully it's not too far away. Lightsaber could possibly be new, but I'd say it's more likely just just a retool of the original. Um, this time, it doesn't separate into two parts. Yes, it does. It was just stuck really tightly, um, but it does have a much nicer sort of chrome finish to it, which looks absolutely fantastic. So yeah, that was really tight before, so <laughs> it's, uh, it fits nicely. It doesn't, it's made of a more solid plastic than the last ones. The last ones were kind of a little bit more rubbery, but yeah, that nice chrome, chrome finish on it looks fantastic. It's not quite the uh, vac metal, but looks great. Peg on the side there, like I had it displayed on his belt. That looks great. And uh, it does come with, the uh, blades, peg in there like so, and uh, yeah, well, let's let's pose him up for a little bit here, just while I'm talking. Just loving the tattoos on the chest. I do have a the uh, the old Legacy comic pack. Uh, sorry, it was a Legacy three pack uh, that came. It was the Sith Evolutions uh, three pack 
came with uh, this mall, came with Shirtless Mall, uh, Darth Nihilus and Darth Bane. So yeah, a really great pack back in the day. Still, it still is a great pack, but uh, it's nice to have that version of Maul in six inch. Cause yeah, he's looking absolutely fantastic. This is a uh, absolutely awesome release. Really, really thrilled about this one. Try and get him into some, get him into a cool martial arts looking sort of pose here. Yeah, great articulation on this figure. It's looking, looking really, really nice. Great sort of articulation through that ab crunch too. I'm trying to go for a bit of a balancing act here. And then we have it. So we're getting just to stay there. That's that's the uh, the issue. Just wants to sort of rock around on that ankle joint a little bit. But that's okay. You see what I'm trying to do here, guys. It's uh Close him up with one leg in the air. I'll work on it. I, I did have it, and then I moved it. Ta-da! Check it out. So good. I'm really, really thrilled with this figure. I'm a big Darth Maul fan. I love Maul. I still want any other Maul. <laughs> Any other Mole Black Series figures I can get my hands on, I'd love it. So if Hasbro want to start pumping out different versions of Mole, I will buy them all. I will buy them all. Them all the Mole. All right. <laughs> I'm starting to natter on a little bit here. So let me know in the comments what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments about this figure and the packaging and all the good stuff. Um, yeah, this is the pick of the pick of the wave for me. There are three other figures coming out. Um... But yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do hit the little notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. I've got the rest of the retro collection coming up very, very shortly. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all very much for watching. Till my next video, may the force be with you always.